Hey everybody, it's Joe and I've been a victim of the 3D printed scandal and I couldn't be more upset about this whole thing. I mean, look at this. This is awful. Blue renders, not even, there are prints of these and he's not even using the pictures of the prints. And what is he ripping off? The, the hollow dice? He's, he's using the rounded edge one. I said on it, don't use the rounded edge one. It doesn't print as nicely. Use the one with the flat edges. Plus, it lays better, so it's a better dice. And, and well, he just stole my Cthulhu pawns. And I, I, you know, that's pretty good. That's a good set. I'll, I'll endorse that. But there are pictures of these. Why are you putting up these blue renders? Put up the pictures of them. My Doctor Who pawns, but, but not the doctors. Just the monsters. Who wants the K1 monster? At the very least, you know, put the Daleks up there because that's the one that everybody recognized. But no, he doesn't even have the Daleks. The ones he chose to rip off he chose the uh, uh, Sontarans and the Cybermen. I guess I guess the Cybermen are pretty good and, and the Silence. But where's the Daleks? Plus fifteen dollars for something this small. This isn't going to sell anything. This is way too much for something so small. And on top of that, it's just shoddy work. Now, you might be saying, Joe, aren't you upset about the fact that these were used in violation of the non-commercial license that you put on them? And, and yeah, I mean, I'm not happy about that fact. I, I wish that they had attributed me the way that I said that I wanted to, and I, and I wish that they had contacted me. You know, I've had my models used in the past by other people to sell their 3D printers or just as 3D prints sold on Etsy. But the people who have done it before, I, I contacted them and I said, hey, you're using these and, and the license says you have to attribute me. And they said, oh, sorry, sorry. And they made sure to do that. Or like the people on Et Etsy who are selling my models, they're going, hey, they, they contacted me first and said, hey, we want to sell these models and we'll give you a cut. And I said, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. That's, that's okay. And that's the way to do it. This isn't okay. But am I upset about this? Well, a little bit. But I recognize that there's not much that I can do about it unless I want to lawyer up. And quite frankly, I can't even afford to get the software that I need to edit these videos so that you're not getting these one take videos anymore. I can't afford to lawyer up and, and take care of this. I wish that I could and, and, and protect this and really make a point. If, if I could, I'd make a class action lawsuit and make sure that everybody here who's been hurt can, can also benefit from this and really make that Creative Commons license that we all rely on uh, mean something. But in a way, this is kind of good. Follow me on this one. I shared these models because I wanted more people to get into 3D printing. And in order for more people to get into 3D printing, there had to be models for them to 3D print. So I shared these and put them out there for free because it was a sharing community. Now, do I wish that I had gone with other sites that would pay earlier? Sure, but people don't pay for 3D models as much. Uh, nobody's making a living making 3D models. And, and I'll talk about this maybe more in another video, but I don't mind sharing it because it did what I wanted it to. I wanted more people to get into 3D printing. And here we've got somebody who got into 3D printing and is a jerk, an a-hole, got into 3D printing. This is good. More people are getting into 3D printing. And when more people get into 3D printing, the jerks are going to come out of the woodwork and join us too. But you know what? That means that 3D printing has finally grown beyond the point where it's not just the kind and genteel uh, hobbyists into it, but we've got real people, real jerks into it. Now, do I want to see this keep going? No, I want to see this end, but I wish that I were the person who could make this happen. Unfortunately, I'm not. You know who really should make this happen? Thingiverse, or the people who own Thingiverse, MakerBot and Stratasys, they should lawyer up and they should attack these people and make sure that one, uploading to Thingiverse means something. That they're going to uh, uh, make a stand for their community. And two, make the uh, uh, commons license that we put on these models actually mean something. Make it so that the next person who comes along goes, man, maybe I don't want to do this because there might be consequences. And you know what? 
MakerBot has said that they are going to address this position legally. Now, we respect the choices our users make and we expect others to do so as well. I'm not sure how much I agree with that. In fact, I've stated in the past in forums and, and other places that I really am not happy with the choices that Thingiverse has been making recently. They're really showing that they're not, that they don't care about the people like me, the hobbyists, the people who aren't in it to make thousands of dollars, but they're protecting Thingiverse. And you know what, MakerBot, I'm going to say this to you right now. If you do this right, if you take these guys and pound them to the ground, take them for everything that they've earned here and more, just make it as, as painful for them and send a signal to other people who might have the thought to do this that this is not going to be acceptable. Not only will I bring back every design that I've designed in my absence from Thingiverse that I've uploaded to Pinshape and other places online that weren't Thingiverse, not only will I come back to Thingiverse with all the models that I have not done, I will make a new, high quality, free model uploaded to Thingiverse every month for a year. It's 12 new models no matter what else I, I have going on, I will make sure to do that. A new design, and you guys may even see some of them designed here on this channel. Deal? You make these guys sorry that they made a stupid choice so that other people who come after them will think twice about doing it and all will be forgiven. I am going to wholeheartedly support Thingiverse from here on out assuming that you make this happen. Now, so that's the state of affairs with the sad face. Is this a good thing? No, this is terrible. In fact, I really feel bad that future designers and people who are coming in and want to share their models are going to go, well, maybe I shouldn't. In fact, we've already seen a voice saying, uh, Angus on Maker's Muse says, don't share your models online if they're important to you. If they're going to feel bad if they're stolen, don't share. No, no. That hurts 3D printing, and I love 3D printing, so I don't want to hurt 3D printing. I want to see people share their models online. In fact, I want to see people successfully supporting themselves by making models online. I'd love a thing averse allowed people to sell their models, but I put my models up on Pinshape and other sites that allow me to sell them. Am I making a lot of money doing that? No. Will I make money on that one day? I hope so. But regardless of whether or not I do, this position, Angus, I love you, buddy, but I can't support this position because I want to see 3D printing grow. And so in order to see 3D printing grow, grow this has to be punished so that future offenders will realize, oh, this isn't just a community of people who don't have the money or time to do anything. This is a community of people who are together and will make us suffer for doing this. So, MakerBot, I hope you make it happen. Well, our trust is in your hands again, and it's time to win it back. You can do it. You can do it. Show us that you can do it. Well, that's all for me for today. I look forward to seeing you later on at the, well, not the workbench anymore, but there will be a workbench in the future. Thank you so much for watching.